Hello everybody, my name is George, and my idea for this video is to build a, well, you saw it from the thumbnail, but a boat on a balloon. Now, I drew this reference image for you and me, because if you've ever built a boat in Minecraft, getting the shape right is no easy task. And for you, just so you can kind of see what the finished product's gonna be, and not click off immediately, please don't do that. Let's stop faffing about, let's get cracking. So I started by making the hull of the ship because that is what I thought would be the hardest part. It ended up being actually quite easy. It didn't take very long at all. And I made the hull out of dark oak and a beam down the bottom of it out of mangrove wood. Now this isn't based off of any real ship. I just looked up the image for like a just looked up sailing ship and then a skiff and kind of merged the two together to get something kind of different looking. I changed the blocks halfway up it from dark oak to spruce, and I put portholes on each side using oak trapdoors. I made a small rudder also out of mangrove wood, and it took a while to get the railing right around the ship. I tried out a lot of different designs, ended up settling on dark oak wood, um, fence gates with polished black stone walls. Have the captain's cabin out of mangrove wood on the back of the ship, or I guess the stern. And the floor I made out of barrels and stripped spruce wood. I tried to do the captain's cabin at an angle to match the angle of the rest of the ship. And the mast I made out of mangrove wood. And going back to the captain's cabin, I added two long windows, one on each side. I also added blast furnaces around the main mast to make it look a little bit more secure. And I tried to have kind of a spoiler out of uh, fence gates and like slabs on the back to give it a nice curve. Uh, kind of comically long. I actually don't know the term for it, but whatever the beam is that goes on the front of the ship, I don't know what that's called actually. The rigging took a long time to actually figure out what blocks I wanted to do that out of. I think I tried every single type of wooden fence and iron bars and like cobwebs. I tried everything and eventually after a long time settled on dark oak wood. The shape was also hard to get with the rigging and getting an angle like that with fences and iron bars wasn't easy for me. Probably just me. While we're working on a couple meaningless projects, may I direct you to the shiny subscribe button? Look at that. Just look at it. Maybe click it. <clears throat> I made the sails out of light gray wool and andesite because I was able to get, I was able to use andesite slabs and stairs to get some really nice curves. And it, it actually took a while to actually settle on andesite and wool because I thought in my very weird brain, that cyan wool would look great on this build. Because I'm crazy. And, you know, obviously this sucks. <laughs> I, I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Like, what was I thinking? It's atrocious. And I kept it for so long. You can see me here changing the rigging from iron bars to all kinds of blocks, as well as the sails to a sensible color. When I actually did start changing the sails to andesite and light gray wool, and I involved stairs and slabs, and the stairs and slabs didn't give it as good a shape as I was hoping for, I thought since I was able to use those, it'd be a million times better, but it's actually the worst sails I've ever done. I also added splotches of rooted dirt, coarse dirt, and tuff, and that kind of improved things a little bit. And I finished the rigging on both sides now, and now to start work on the balloon. I started by building a circle, well I guess a sphere, out of red concrete, and then once I got that finished, I elongated the bottom and kind of pulled everything vertical a little bit. Fill in space in this voiceover, I'm going to talk about the clouds a little bit. Isn't it mesmerizing just watching clouds in a time lapse? Even Minecraft clouds, it's just like, so fun to watch. Anyways, I turned everything to gray wool, and then a kind of bad camera angle, but I added a draping sort of banner 
on one side, but you'll see it in a minute because I copied it over. There we go. And I uh, use stairs and slabs here. It actually worked here pretty good to make it look a little bit more organic. Added some mud for texture and added a cool little gem of sorts or I guess emblem to the center of the banners that I really love the colors of. I think they turned out pretty nice. I then went through and added splotches of dirt like on the sails all over the banners as well as lichen which I also did to the sails later. And I added some lanterns on the ends of the banners to light things up because the balloon cast a lot of shadow onto the rest of everything. And I added a uh, fire to make the balloon floating make some sense. Not much, but some. Moving back down to the boat, I started placing more lanterns and a few candles to kind of light up the shadow left by the balloon, as well as adding some barrels and stacked a couple boats up for more detail, as well as adding the lichen to the sails. One thing I'm kind of disappointed about is I'd like to use shaders in all my videos all the time, but only sometimes does the shaders not lag my computer. Unfortunately, I can't use them all the time, but I'd, I'd so love to. Maybe when I get a better computer, all my videos will have shaders constantly. But it is unfortunately something I can't run all the time. Like currently, my computer is all fans going. I'm surprised the microphone's not picking it up. Anyways, now I am working on the texturing on the outside of the build, as well as a little bit of interior, which you can't really see. Anchor, amazing. Plagiarism, beautiful. This is actually the first build in a while I haven't used leaves in, which pretty good thing, I think, because I was in a bit of a rut. I also added a few more balloons to the outside of it to give it a little bit more lift, I suppose. Anyways, this build is coming to a close, so let's wrap things up and do a walkthrough. Alrighty, it is finally done. I am very, very happy with the shape of it. Not so much the texture. A couple things I want to highlight is the anchor down here. It looks phenomenal, designed by B-Dubs. The link to his video will be down in the description. And a uh, lifeboat up here that I really like how it sits. Very, very not super happy with the sh uh, shape of the sails. Have some extra boats over there. Up here have the, not really a helm, but I guess the captain's chair. Down below have a small interior little doohickey thing in a bed. I was really surprised. I thought this was the shape of the ship it was gonna take ages because that's usually how long it takes. It usually takes like two hours to get that shape right. But it only took like 30 minutes. It, it, it was nuts. Like, and on a whole recording time, this video has only taken two days, which is also crazy. It's never that quick. I re really like how this fire up here turned out. Did, did some balloons over here. They were originally in bright colors, but it didn't match any of the rest of the build because it's a m pretty dark build. So I just switched them to like the colors of the sails and the balloon up there. On a whole, very happy with it. And anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas for future builds, I'd really like to hear them. God bless. Have a great day. I'll see you later.